Welcome to another episode of Marketing for Your Future. I am your host, Cindy Ashton, here at Daily Ad Brief, and I am so thrilled to be able to interview today Jeff Hoffman from the Global Entrepreneurship Network. Now, what's really amazing about this beautiful human being is that he's a founder of multiple, multiple, multiple startups. He's been the CEO of both public and private companies. He has served as a senior executive in multiple capacities. He is a part of very a number of well-known successful startups, including Priceline.com forward slash Booking.com, Ubit.com, and so much more. And more than that, he has the biggest heart. He's a humanitarian. He travels around the world helping youth to build their own businesses. Jeff, I am absolutely thrilled to be able to interview you today. Thank you, Cindy. I am thrilled to be here with you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> The minute that Jeff and I met, it was like instant, oh, we like each other. He's really cool. She's really cool. Um, Jeff, one of the things, I mean, we could have you on the show a million times, but one of the things that I love that you talk about is concentric circles when it comes to marketing. Tell us what that is and why it's important. Yeah. So, you know, people's logical sort of intuitive response to marketing is to cast a wide net, Right. If let's say it's a, a digital marketing, if I drive 10,000 people to my website, 1,000 engage and 100 buy, then if I want to get 200 buyers, I just need to drive 20,000 people to my website and double it. So people tend to cast a wide net and they're focusing on the wrong end. They're focusing on how much traffic they can drive instead of focusing on the end of the process. Instead of having 10,000 people where 100 buy, I would rather talk to the 200 right people in my marketing that 150 of them actually buy my product or service. So that's what we're talking about. The concentric circles really, Cindy, is a dartboard, right? Because the biggest circles are worth the least, but they have, you know, in marketing, they have the most people in them. The circle that's worth money to you the most is the small one in the middle, the bullseye, because all those people are your customer and they're going to buy. So the whole point of that is focus on conversion, not traffic. I love that. It's about being really super strategic. So as we're talking about that bullseye, you call them customer personas. How do we create those true customer personas, that bullseye? What's one of the steps? Yeah. So I'll tell you, um, I, I, and I was blessed enough to actually learn this lesson uh, from Sam Walton himself. Uh, when I was talking about everybody in retail said, you can't build big box retail in small town America. Um, so why'd you do it anyway? I got to spend a day with Sam. And Sam said, because I didn't listen to Wall Street, I listened to farmers. And I thought that was fascinating. And he said, I learned more in a cafe in across the railroad tracks in the small town than I ever did in a boardroom. And so I took that, the, the way to create customer personas is we took that lesson and we would spend time out of our office. I would leave my CEO office, change out of my CEO costume, put on jeans and tennis shoes and go to the grocery store and talk to moms of families about the family vacation. That's how I learned about what people wanted in travel. Get out of your office, build your customer personas by spending a day in the life of your customer, not in your office. It makes a lot of sense, but a lot of people miss that point, Jeff, which is fantastic that you're talking about it. Go to the source, not Wall Street. Wall Street knows nothing yeah, about they do. They, <laughs> they, they, push, they, they push their product out in the world and they can't figure out why nobody wants it. And I always tell them, why didn't you just ask them what they want and how they want it and what they'll pay before you push a product at them? And it sounds simple, but you are right, Cindy. Nobody does that. So... Because you are the master of masters out there, I would love to hear your perspective on how has marketing changed since the pandemic? What's one thing? Uh, yeah, for sure. We, we definitely had to rely way more heavily on visuals. Video became way more important to interact with customers and marketing because we can't during the pandemic. We're not in your store. We can't talk to you. And we already have seen your website. So a 2D Website doesn't cut it anymore. I think one of the biggest differences uh, since the pandemic is interactivity using tools like video or online chat where I'm really interacting in a more than a two-dimensional two way. 
That is absolutely brilliant, Jeff, and so on point. People need experiences. They need connection. They need interactivity more than ever, or else you're going to lose them, especially with all the stress and the noise out there. Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's always a treasure to get to see you. Thank you so much for having me. Talk to you soon. And thank you so much to all of you for tuning in to another episode of Marketing for Your Future. If you would like to connect more with Jeff, please be sure to go to dailyadbrief.com and go and have a great day. And we're going to see you on the next episode. Simplify presents Addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.